Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to Factorio Massa, where I am joined again as ever by Mangled Pork, Stijo, and Arumba. And I said again as ever, uh, so so redundant. But uh, hello, guys, how are you doing? Doing well. All right. Very good. How are you? Clearly. Uh, being redundant, you know, as, as usual. All uh, right. I noticed that I was making a massive dip <laughs> in uh, the last episode. Uh, I was I was running copper plate instead of copper wire to a bunch of factories. It's like ah, we... that was silly. Yeah, yeah, it was. That's one of the things, Joe. Well, factories. Go. Was it unvent circus or something? Uh, no, no, I was um, running to making uh, the power switch constant combinator, decide to combinator, combinator because we're gonna need a lot. Oh, the fancy things. Yeah, we're going to need a lot of them. Okay, we've gotten rid of the steel. Caesar and I were talking between episodes. We decided that we wanted more more iron, and we are going to make a dedicated dedicated steel one. Because if we're going to shut off the power to the sections, there's no worry about, like, overlap. We could just shut that section off and forget it. Makes sense. We might be about to hit storage capacity. I'm not exactly sure. Oh, place more die. Yep. Are they being made somewhere? That would be my guess. Yep. Yes. Of course they're being made somewhere. What a silly question. Well, not everything is. Oh, damn it. I went to, like, right. ghost build them by making one, but when I ghost built the first one, it took it off me so that it could build that one. Just grab a, a blueprint. But yeah, that is like that it does that as well. Yeah, I don't think I it should. I mean, take, it makes uh, complete it, sense in the logic of the game. It shouldn't take out of your hand, though. I don't think. I mean, it's literally in your hand for crying out loud! Like, oh, I should man. just never take the last item out of your hand. Like, it does. It can take fucking fifty of them out of your hand. Well, forty-nine, as long as it leaves the last item. Can I just like? I don't like them being super close to the thing, just like for the looks of it. All right. Plus, it's always nice when you try to cross the tracks if you've got a little space that you're not going to get squished on. Oh, fuck a duck. No, don't do this. It is illegal, everyone. Don't listen to Steve Joe. It's illegal? Yep. Yeah, um, it uh... <laughs> it's only illegal if sure you <laughs> He was going to say, I tried it and I didn't get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I would not have been Here surprised. is the date and the time and, and CCTV footage. Nice. One, two, three, four. That, that, that I don't know why you would need a CCTV a footage. For brain breach. Okay, and then like, there's, there's a, there's a, a one square gap in the concrete over here. Why? Who did this? Does it make you angry? Of course it does. I've got 99 concrete in my inventory. This is terrible. Got 99 concrete, but I bet you ain't one. What? <laughs> I'm not sure if that, that quite follows. Oh, where, where, are, where did the green circuits go? Probably a lack of iron. Why Why are they not? Well, at the moment, there is no copper hooked up to. Yeah, we yeah, shut no it all down. Hooked up to anything. Yeah. Uh, People responsible for hooking copper up to the factory, what's going on? We shut what it all down. Fucking working on it, man. Jesus. Just making sure. Shut that right down is what we did. I need more blue belt. Can you cook? Just hook these things up, and then it'll be working. How are you hooking them up? With belt. <laughs> 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 oh fuck. Nice. Hmm. Annoying. One, two, three, four. I'm so used to the underground belt being like super long now that it kind of I noticed that the up underground belt, the upgrade quick upgrade doesn't play well with the uh longer underground belt mod. No. 
But uh, I'm so used to it being longer that like when I'm trying to put down a really really long section of blue belt, I'm like, well, that's not very far. Should be able to go <laughs> further than that. <laughs> there we go. Sorted. Now it should I... resume the construction of everything we needed. Do you just never play games with robots, Bentham? Is that what it is? Yes. There we are. I think nice simple answer. We play two very different games here, don't we? Yeah. Robots are boring. <laughs> okay. Robots are boring insofar as using them to build stuff. Like using them to transport things to a requester chest so that a factory can build things. Yeah. 100% agree with that. Making it do belt balancers for you so you don't need to manually do them a million times. 100% disagree. That's just smart. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'm with definitely with Caesar on this one. Although generally, I dislike overuse of of robots for construction. They're pretty much. I, I almost make a, a research beeline for them. Especially now that we've got vehicle equipment, having a car that can build your factory for you just seems like. I don't know. It feels like happiness. I just, I just don't like vehicles in the game at all. Do you not? Nah. I have noticed that you tend to shy away from them. And get them destroyed when you're piloting them. Yeah, that was a pretty crappy tank, though. <sighs> tank Chan weeps from beyond the grave. Well, I only had Mark actually... 1 shields and shit in it. We actually have full bills of copper and iron. We Hooray! have a lot of superfluous balancing. Yeah, there's a load of superfluous balancing. <laughs> You've got to be sure. This. No, <laughs> no, you don't. Uh... <laughs> you are sure when you put it where it needs to be. Have confidence in yourself. If you notice a problem later on, then address adjust your expectations. I think it's mainly because with this particular set of belts, like, the time between building one end and the other is about five episodes. In which time you've forgotten whether there's balancing on it already. <laughs> oh, there's certainly uh, something to be said about that, yeah. I'm oh, so that's taken there. two full lines. Okay, and then it's getting balanced down into... Oh my god, this is horrible. Perfect. I was going to okay. say, I'm not responsible, but I actually don't know. We've got uh, all the yeah, combinators now. It's definitely you, considering it says built by mangled pork. <laughs> Caught ya. On, on these splitters? The reason it's not saying it, oh there it is, it's saying it on that one. It's not saying it on half of them. Uh, robots. Yeah, robots built it. These two here were built by me. The, now the you know the, the real wasn't... reason well, why yeah. Steve's building everything with robots, so he has no accountability. Yeah, but it means that you can be sure that it wasn't me, so you can shush. That is also true, yeah. Good point. <laughs> Damn, he's actually come up with a an almost valid reason for not using robots. It's he kind of like one of those logical anymore. fallacies. It it sounds right. You have to stop and think about it for a moment. And you're like, oh, I'm fairly certain that isn't right, but I can't immediately think of a counter argument. Hmm. <laughs> I will grudgingly have to accept your argument for now. I will report back later. What are you talking about? You know those when, when when sometimes someone says something like it's on a topic that you're not particularly um, um, you haven't really studied or anything like that, and it kind of makes a certain sort of sense. But there's, there's this gut feeling. It's like nah, that, for some reason that sounds wrong. I think yeah. you're wrong, but I can't I can't prove that I you're can't wrong. Prove it. So it's like okay, I will grudgingly accept what you've said for now, <laughs> but I will look this up later. <laughs> you know. One of those dangerous arguments, like, hmm, I don't know enough to tell you why you're wrong, but I'm fairly certain you are. <laughs> we don't have enough. But I will have to accept it for now. We don't have enough modules for all this. What do you mean? Well, sorry, wait, what? When? Why? I have enough modules for it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, the um, um, large smelter you're setting up. Yeah, all this copper is not modules, basically. Uh, yeah, but that's probably just because we haven't had any modules getting built for a while. Yeah. I mean, it, it'll, it'll get circuits. filled out. It'll get filled out in time. 
Oh, actually, no, it won't open. Oh, no. Uh, well, no, you need to add uh, one or two more um, robopods, but then it'll get filled out. It's a I green circuit issue. Yeah. yeah we, need... we, we, the factory was running dry for ages. Right. Uh, oh, that's annoying. We need to get... Uh, better replace the steel one we took down. See, Joe. Ah, yeah. Are you going to help on that, or are you gone? Uh, I was trying to work out why modules weren't working. Okay. There's just barely enough room to fit one more row. Perfect for steel. Um, but steel needs iron as well. Yeah, I'm gonna feed. I'm just gonna go east. We got everything over here. Oh, are you gonna do like a, a longer one? Okay. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'll figure it out. Actually, we have but, it. Right. Well, you could do a longer one and then pull the. Benson, what are you working on right now? Here. Um, I'm. I was checking up on the the copper to see why. There's not okay. as much as there can be, and it's because we need a million modules. Why are those yeah. robots being dumb? What's wrong with them? Uh, uh, I'm to going to hazard a guess smelter? and say Farl. I shall come visit the smelter. Yeah, oh. I'm fairly certain that any, any robot shenanigans is probably the result of Farl. Farl has too big of a range. Yeah, but so they can build an entire outpost. Just from Farl. Reasonable, I suppose. Ah, wow. that went wrong. That was some horrible was driving right there. It, it locked onto the wrong thing. I was like, yes, this will go straight, and then it didn't go straight. So you basically are. say it's, before getting it's run over by the mod's fault. Yeah? Oh, that's a shame. I was hoping that you didn't realize. And I'm being carried away. No, I need to get back to the road. <laughs> I find it quite amusing watching him try to, try to drive. <laughs> try to escape. I just want to drive in a straight line. Paddle your little legs, Bentham. Oh. Paddle. The the key is you got to stop stop steering, otherwise that the mod doesn't take over and make you drive straight. I mean, if you keep trying to there we go. do I'm control, good. everything's good. There you go. Oh, but I've got to thread the needle. There you go. Got it. I mean, yeah, imagine doing that. Needs to be wider. Imagine doing that no. latency hiding without having that auto it needs course correction. To be shorter. <laughs> you just do that. Try and kill him. Not to try and kill him, but if it happened, it would have been a nice little. Uh, <laughs> That's all bonus. <laughs> you are such a bad friend. I am oh staying away God. from these tracks forever. Why do I find it so funny since he's such a bad friend? Ah, oh, I must be a bad friend too. <laughs> I'll drive. Uh, right, we'll okay. hazard concrete around it to mark that no one should stand there. <laughs> yeah. Right, we need two things done. First and foremost, we've got eight belts over here that are the output belts. These basically need to be brought down to two. Now, the reason why I, I don't like scoff at the idea of four, uh, sorry, eight blue belts being reduced to two blue belts is because by the time it's reached this, realistically, anything that was on those belts should have been filtered out. There'll be a, a tiny amount of runoff if there's any runoff at all. Um, so if you can set that up whilst... Hmm. What is it connecting up to? Uh, it, that, these are the lines that are actually going to be running back now, back across, and they're going to be joining up down here. Remember how we set this up? These six ways? lines here. Let me just do that. Bump. No, no, no. The ones on the on the far side. The these are the runoff. Anything that didn't oh, get picked right, up see, from the chests will be running off here. So we basically right, need Joe. to bring this down. I'll bring it out a little bit and then bring it down. So we'll say one, two, three. We should probably use underground belts to make this look better, because it would look a we hell could, of a lot better with undergrounds. We could do a bit of merging straight away just to reduce the number of belts we need to be. Oh yeah, yeah, sure. Things with. Sure, no, no, that's a good. Idea. We, we will end up with five lines, but one, two, three, four. Yeah, we will. But that, that's fine. Five. It's easier to manage than eight. You know what? Let's let's not just have it do that because it does look ugly when a when a belt is that long. In my opinion, it just starts to look unnecessary. So, how about you I'm gonna I'm just gonna add in some underground belt. It's not like we're hurting for reasons. Right. Times you need to worry about underground. I would say. 
So I'm just going to sort this out over here. My brain is not functioning right now. Was it ever? Probably Ouch. not. Need more, more modules. Okay, steel is reconnected. We have a small amount of production for it, but the steel and most of the copper are not beaconed. Not properly, so... Do you remember how to do the... Um, the split off that splits off a full belt? The priority splitter? Remember. No, 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 not a not priority splitter, the other one. The non-priority, non-circuit network condition? Yeah, the one that... The one that's yeah. like the, the balancer and splits off a full belt. Yeah. That does it in line. I can't, I can't for the life of me remember how to do it. Yeah. Where are you? Uh, I'm down where old smelting used to be. Okay. Yeah, if you weren't grey, I could find you a lot easier. He's <laughs> <That's, that's laughs> not going to let that go. He really won't. This is my name in white. <laughs> okay, where, he will where, never let this go. Where are we going? Uh, just anywhere. Just. Oh, you want a blueprint? Okay. Explosions. Uh, Explosions. Uh, Gun turrets are going down way... Oh. Up in stone one. That's not too uh, far. That is the latest one, yeah. That's the latest expansion. Did you guys actually build defenses up there? Well, you must have. Uh, must be some. I put a very small amount of defenses. Apparently it was too yeah. small. Yeah. I mean, we're not uh, saying that, that, right. that you Quite should be conscious run out of, ammo. Of, of size, but you probably should. That is not the one that I was thinking about. And then yeah, you the would turrets run out of ammo here. do your lane balancer after. I'll set up a... I a think that's balance. right, but I'm not thinking straight either, so I don't know. No, that that works, yeah, but that's not the one I was thinking about. Yeah, that'll take 50% of the top lane, 50% of the third lane, and then you shuffle balance. 50 plus 50 is 100, that gives you one full belt. There's one that does the two middle lanes. Oh, that one would be... That's like nice and neat, but I can't... That would look very similar. I'm going to be doing this by hand. I just realized the lag hiding doesn't apply to the range that your personal roboport covers. So you can walk around inside the green box while you're holding like a deconstruction planner. Not a, a de... what is it called? <laughs> Yeah, no, it's a deconstruction planet. It's a weird, weird word. I was bouncing around inside the green box. Mm. Can you stick a radar up there, Avak? Yep, won't be a problem at all. I'll go and clear out the bases afterwards. All right. Like that? Is that what you're thinking of? Prettier. Still does no. the same thing. Takes 50% of both middle lanes. Uses more underground belt, though. I don't know what you want, man. I'm trying to help you. <laughs> oh, thanks. That's, that's not the one that I'm thinking of. Yeah, it's nice, but it's not pretty enough. <laughs> no, it's just that there was, there was a very specific one that I was using a lot, and I can't remember how to do it. It's Caesar's defense. If it was me, that is probably what, what's going on. But with Steve, I don't think he cares at all about how pretty something is. Yeah. Well, I remember this thing that he just made there was functionally equivalent to what I was looking for. It's just the only reason I was looking for that specific one is because I can't remember how to do it. Because I swiftly went beyond caring about the functionality of it. Okay, this stone outpost should be pretty much defended now for, for the time being. Nothing's going to get through here. It's got way more defenses than it actually needs. How how much damage did it take while we were? Uh, you didn't lose much at all. Actually, just a couple of belts, gun turrets, that sort of thing. That one gun turret that you was... put up there was fine. Most of the attack was defeated. It's just one or two things managed to survive longer than the ammo did. Yeah, I only... yeah it, was, it was a spitter that was breaking everything because it, you know, once the gun turrets weren't there, it outranged yep. everything and just sat back and destroyed everything. I, uh, I was just using autofill, so I think each turret only had 100, uh, 10 bullets in it. Would be my guess. 
Applying all of the fire all of the time. See, I like the flame thrower for doing that, but it just takes so long compared to just dropping all the fucking turrets in it. Yeah. Yeah, oh, but, but without doubt, the superior strategy is the turret creep cheese. But it's just nice to run in there and just put everything to the torch. Yeah. I think, like, I'm happy with the number of times that I've cleared out a base with the flamethrower that I feel... But now you're okay with... Yeah, I see. Yeah. Because to be <laughs> fair, the amount of outposts you've built... Oh, my God. I'm surprised you're not talking in Biter at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll marry one. their ways. <laughs> Maybe I'll marry one, yeah. Could well be the case. Uh, right. Yeah. That thing oh, is actually run out of time. Flashing at me, yeah. Oh. No. No. Fibs. Give me just a second, because I'm just going to finish off uh, this connection, and then the ore buffer area will be complete. And I'll be very, very happy to, uh, to finish with that. It'll take me a moment. Thanks for the help with this, by the way, Bantham. It has been valuable. There we go. So, there we are. Perfect. Right, it was I who brought us in, wasn't it? I believe so, yeah. Okay, well, thank you very, very much for joining us. I hope you have enjoyed and will, in fact, be joining us in the next episode where I'm going to move on to the construction of the actual smelter part of the factory and probably uh, work a little bit more on the... Um, Combinator logic that will drive it all. But uh, so, uh, rather, I hope to see you then. But until next time, take care, everyone. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you soon.